Okay, um, in this video, I am going to um, apparently make giant weird rectangles here, but I am going to show you kind of how to use the rectangle tool and how to use it. Um, a couple a couple tricks that are going to really help you out with just using the rectangle tool, right? For making for making the base of your shapes, right? So for the rectangle tool, right, it is located right here. And it looks like, you know, the square with the line going through it, okay? And so when you click on it, you get these different options. You can do a rectangle, you can have a rotated rectangle, you have a circle, you have a polygon, or you can even do 3D text, which is kind of fun, right? So we're going to select the rectangle. And usually when I start with this, and if you do something like that, you just click undo, right? So I'm going to always go to the origin, and I try to work flat, right? So I try to work between the red and the green axes, Right. Otherwise, if you go up, it uh, it it gets kind of kind of weird. Right. And that's that's not what I'm after. I, I usually like to start building flat and then I use the push pull to pull it up, the push pull tool. All right. So here is how basically you make a rectangle. Right. So what you do is you click on the origin and then you pull it out right into kind of see how I'm pulling along a diagonal here and then you can pull it out to your size. And if you look down in the dimension bar, all right, which is, I'm going to stop this right here and I'm going to show you where the dimension bar is. The dimension bar is right here on measurements, right? And you'll see that when you make these shapes, right, and I'll make another one here just to show you. Let's say I go um, like this with the rectangle, I'm going to select this and I go here, I'm going to select right here, stop, all right, select and then pull it, right? you see that you're getting dimensions that come up, right? And that's fine. But if somebody says, hey, I need a specific size dimension, it's pretty hard to get it exact, right? It's really difficult. So what we can do, which is super cool, is you can actually um, size it uh, once you get it started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, show you another thing you can do is you can actually select anything you make, right? And if you don't like it, you just select it and then you just click the backspace bar on your computer and then it goes away or Chromebook or whatever you're using. So we're going to start in the, at the origin again. All right. So we're going to go right here. You click on the origin and you start pulling it out and moving it out. And then when you do that, without clicking anything else, you basically just lift your hand off the trackpad and then you go up to your numbers on your keyboard and you type in your dimensions. Now, I'm going to type in 11. I'm going to say I want an 11 foot by 13 foot room. All right, so I'm going to say 11. And then I'm going to use the feet mark, which is next to the enter key, which is the lower one, right? So it's just the one line. So that tells me my dimension along the red axis, right? So that tells me kind of my, I, I don't know what you call that, maybe maybe your, your length. And then you would hit the comma because... We're using rectangles, so there's two dimensions, right? And so then we hit the comma, and then you put in your second dimension, and that's going to tell me, like, how wide this thing's going to be, how deep back it's going to go. And then you got to make sure you use your measurements. So right there, what I wrote in the dimension bar is 11 feet by 13 feet. And then you click Enter. Now, the thing is, you have to actually start the rectangle first before this will work, right? If you don't start the rectangle then it, it won't recognize that that's what you're doing. If you just click on the origin and then try typing in, you won't be able to do it. You have to actually start the rectangle to get it started. Okay, so that's, that's kind of the trick of doing that. And so I'll show you, show you one more time how we do that. And we'll use our... And the other thing you can do, which is really cool, is you can actually use this select tool, right? And you can use a combination of your Control-C and Control-V to uh, to paste these right and to to copy them down. So let's say I wanted two of these, so I could go Control C. Then what that does is that puts it on my browser. And now when I click Control V, right, it's going to move me automatically to the Move tool, and I've got the the copied thing there. And then I can take it and I can just like slide it in place or put it put it wherever I want, right? I could say, oh, I'm going to put it right here, right? And I'll go boom. Click it, and then, you know, you're done, right? So, oh, crazy things happening there, right? But that's that works pretty nicely, okay? So let's, uh, 
let's go back. I'm going to get rid of these things and let's just try making one more rectangle that is a precise measurement. So I'm going to select my rectangle tool. I'm going to come right out here. I'm going to click on the origin and then I'm going to move it out. And it doesn't matter if you actually start at the origin. I just like to start at the origin because I, I, it's easier for me for some reason. Let's say I want to do 8 foot 2 by 15 foot 7. So I'd go 8, use your foot mark, and then 2 inches. So hit your 2 and then hit your quotation marks, right? So that's for your inches. And you hit your comma. All right. And then for my 15 foot 7, I'd go, looks like I hit two commas. You go 15 foot and then 7 inches would be like this. Right. And then I hit my enter and then it gives me the shape. So that is how you make a precisely sized shape uh, rectangle specifically in SketchUp.